Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laravel Studios. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up the Android UI with this particular tutorial, the Boom menu. Uh, let's get to look to integrate menus that can boom and uh, that can actually split into different uh, sub icons or sub menu, whereby you can have uh, multiple activities or fragments created from the Boom. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio, where I'll be explaining the source file and details. And I uh, will be giving credit to uh, the library, the Night Onk Boom menu that actually provided uh, this uh, library full of methods to use uh, to get a, a good boom and uh, have your UI, you know, move to, uh, let's say, the new level. Why right there in Android Studio? Why right there in Android Studio? I'll be talking about the build gradle, uh, the module session where I'm going to have the dependency boom menu. This particular compile is very uh, important in this integration. After including the compile, you need to synchronize gradle. Uh, we'll be ex using the boom menu in uh, different examples in the share activity, you know, where you have the share icon. Uh, in the list view, where you're going to have uh, a sort of uh, sub menu beside uh, a list, you know, and also you, you integrate in the recycler view and a plain uh, normal view. So that leads us to different activities and uh, layouts, you know, the builder, activity XML, uh, the easy use, the share. No, these are all old into different uh, sections of this particular uh, sample. Now, we'll look at the activity main, which is the launcher activity. Let's get to feel around the different uh, analogies, the different examples that were actually uh, alighted. We have the scroll view that actually holds on to the uh, full page view. What about a linear layout follows in there? We have text view and radio group to actually depict uh, different uh, UI section that you can use. You can actually use a radio button uh, to implement the bone uh, library. Now this is a text view. This is for the radio button, the radio group. What about you have radio buttons right inside the group? The circle button. We have uh, a text on it that actually has the hamburger button no this is actually written on the button itself now we are for the sick bar we're going to actually check to get for sick bar a text view that's like a label of the sick bar another one asking for the boom type we have a radio group another radio group we have a sick bar. We get to look at these uh, in the rendering library to actually uh, shows us what the text layouts are all talking about. We are for the checkbox. Uh, the major focus for this particular uh, session is going to come downwards, which is for the menu button. This is where uh, the major focus of this particular library is being pointed at. You know, where you get to have a different uh, uh, style being called on a button click. Now, we're going to have the activity share, the easy use, the builder, and the list view. These are all going to be instantiated from the button click you know, to different activity of this from the main activity or from the activity main XML, which is also from the main activity class let's get to look at the share no the sick bar these are just our examples of how to use the sick bar and uh, also the text views the major focus is still based on the boom menu button there you know, which we assign an ID to it called boom we get to see the share this is actually holding the share icon and giving a boom effect you know or sub menu right there we get to look at that are we are for the list view 
and we have the easy use and you see the men the boom menu button you need to include this tag this way become night on the boom menu calling the boom menu button class same thing goes for the build at the activity builder now let's get to look at the custom action bar this is actually holding on to the action bar which is the toolbar and you see the tag no, calling the, its ID. Now we have text view. This for the info is up to two. Let's get to look at the item XML. This is for each item. We have the boom menu items. All right. Uh, we'll be looking at the Java classes. But before that, let's get to look at the drawable used. We have the boom menu PNG. We have for the GitHub uh, icon, heart, info for Java. No, these are just icons that were used to depict uh, different menu icon. Max, record, search, and settings. The major focus will be uh, in the Java classes. The main activity of this particular application. We get to include the library boom menu button, the boom type, the boom, the button type, the click effect type, and all other uh, methods, the order type, the place type, all will be used in the boom menu integration. We created private fields, so these are all length for the button type group the button num number six, the button text, the click effect for the radio group, the check the box, no. Even for the progress bar. Now the focus here is the view on click listener. The super the create method uh, set the content view activity main. Uh, layout with the XML explained and the fields are being instantiated where you set the display home enabled as to show home enabled calling on its appropriate ID title text boom now we have the init views method passed into the onCreate method we have the on windows Focus change to actually change the uh, uh, particular window in question. The init info boom. Uh, let's look at the init boom. Okay. Calling the number, we have the button number six by getting the progress dialog. Now we have to call on the drawables resources for the mark, the refresh, the copy art that I showed earlier, and the strings. So now we are passing values to. Uh, the menu the refresh the copy the art so for each this is for a list for a count at zero you get the number of the strings and you iterate by one you know? the same thing goes for colors this is a a multi array where you passed in uh, two index i and one so if it's uh, you get a random color and uh, this is if the index is zero you're gonna get this instance and when it's pressed the colors will be picked from the random color i and one that's fine the same thing goes for the circle button and the hamburger button so in case the button type group uh, is actually circle button or hamburger button it's going to pass in this uh, functionality now with the builder you can uh, initialize the BBM more conveniently so setting up a builder you set the buttons the, bot the boom even the boom button shadow that's while clicking the shadow you get from the boom now with the builder you can initialize uh, more conveniently again 
same thing goes just for the home menu button now you're going to initialize the home menu button in action bar this is actually in the home menu button itself this is for the action bar you have the init views that are the major uh, focus of the logic no when the button is being clicked the circle button to set the maximum to eight. This is a uh, this is a uh, the sick uh, the button type group for either the sick bar. Okay, this for the sick bar. Okay, I would like to look at this. This is actually for the sick bar the radio group. I want to look at uh, the, the share menu and some other needed. Uh, this for the radio group. Lot of is if they can this is actually picking up the colors, they don't click back pressed now. Aha, focus. We're going to start each activity, which is the easy use activity, the list view activity, the share activity, the builder activity with an intent when it's being clicked. Now we get to look at all this activity right, we get instantiated from the main activity. These are the buttons. So we get to look at the easy use activity, the list view activity, the share activity, and the build activity uh, from an on-click button. Let's look at the list view. I'll only be explaining just two. The list view activity extends the acrobat activity where you set the on create and the layout to the activity list view. Instantiated the list are view getting its ID and setting the adapter and the on item click listener to them you get the count get the item get the item ID and even get the view based on the position the convert view and the parent view group this is the list view uh, in question so if the convert view equals to null uh, the view you're going to instantiate the view order have the text viewer calling you call the ID cast it to the text view pass it into the view order TV the same thing goes for the SACU the SACU men boom menu button convert the view and likewise the arm boom menu button else the view order is going to convert the view and get a tag uh, do some uh, iteration here get the drawable the refresh the copy so these are for the list uh, menus beside the boom. Uh, when you click that, there's going to be a boom, and uh, the for loop will run when the circle sub button drive is being called, when the as button drive is being called. And the, the, the random color too will be called on each circle. You know, Buttons being called. This is on the color string. You can see how the color. So these are. This is actually a uh, uh, deep. So I would like you to take your time to to actually uh, get along with the source files. You know, uh, you just don't uh, pick it up and think uh, it should just stick immediately. You no, know? try to get around with it you know know how to know how different methods are being called and how they work how classes are being instantiated this is for the share activity you know share activity too is very important you may need a share activity in your application where you need to this extends app compact uh, where we have the sigma text view radio group you actually don't need uh, all this you may not need the sigma blah 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 for the share intent itself is what uh, should uh, entice you here is on the place radio button the init views let's get to look at the init views this is for the sick bar where you get the progress 
however i'll be looking at the android manifest where we're going to have uh, the activity being logged into the manifest the easy use the list view the share activity and the builder activity you need to record those in those are uh, activities press a click on this button calling this particular uh, activity is actually going to crash the application giving a null pointer exception was pointing to nothing you have the launcher as the main activity and uh, the app theme as the theme of this particular application now i'll be uploading the source file to the to my github account and i'll be showing this in an android uh, emulator so stay tuned here we go with the boom menu uh, we have the button type uh, no, if you notice I keep talking about the circle button and the hamburger button now for the button number we have the boom type place type animation duration that you can use now you can decide to have a boom right here this is uh, for the menu at the toolbar you click on this gives you the boom no bye bye you can create or send an intent right from this particular uh, list shown overlay the main uh, UI you can click right inside there it disappears another boom menu comes up from the left but this can be for the mark of favorites you, know, you can even attach web services to this particular button you know these are just like uh, a template now let's get to look at for the floating action button the same thing booms up our main focus will be right down for the buttons that call on different the, the, three, the, uh, the three or four different activities The easy example, the list view example, the share example, and the builder example. Let's get to look at the list view example. Now we have our list from zero downwards. The major focus is this menus, the three dots, and uh, the three are uh, horizontal bars. Now let's click on the dot first. Let's see what's boomed up. You get to see different functionality that you can extend more on a click on this. It goes back. Let's see for the get our sub list. Let's see sub menus in our an horizontal format. It disappears. The same thing goes for other list. Where you can tweak um, this is actually calling different colors. You notice we have uh, the color strings, which is in, in arrays. Let's get to look at the sheer example. Now, this is the share icon. Click on share. You have three of it. Now, you can even extend by placing the type and you see how it's been set up but well, the major focus is having a boom menu that uh, pops out from the major or from the uh, controlling menu down to get uh, more menus for display of a work or more activity so you can decide to do more with uh, the menus uh, instead of you uh, fixed up on uh, how to get activities calling how to have uh, other pages how to have other uh, displays uh, your menu button should be your key and now it's been done in a more beautiful way using the boom menu library thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, session and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye